بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الحمد لله رب العالمين والصلاة والسلام على سيدنا ونبينا محمد وعلى آله وصحبه أجمعين السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته. This is a reminder that when you're in marriage, there will be sometimes turmoil. Yes, things happen. You know, it's not just because of marriage. It could be with a long-term relationship you have with anybody. It could be someone you're not even married to. It could be your uncle, your aunt. It could be, you know, your your parents. Whatever it is, things happen when you're in a when you're in a relationship. Whatever type of relationship it is, turmoil does come. Now, with marriage, there's something very particular, because in marriage there is one thing known as divorce. That you could end your marriage by just Saying that you divorce, you know, as a man, if you say to your wife that you divorce her, or, or you you just completely ended your marriage, you can do it. But you know what, my friend, you better do one thing. The day I learnt about divorce when I was young and I was still studying Islam, when I learnt about divorce, one thing I said to myself is, I don't have that word in my vocabulary. <laughs> right? You might be thinking, what? Yes, I said to myself, I don't have that word in my vocabulary. I'm never going to bring it to my tongue. I'm going to be very, very careful whenever I talk about the word, bring it to my tongue. And in any case, when I, whenever I get married, I said this when I was young. Whenever I get married, I will never, ever, ever, ever even use that word or, or even come close to it. Alhamdulillah, I praise to Allah. You know, I've been married for you know about 16 years now. Never came close to that, alhamdulillah. And may Allah give all of you, including myself, a very long, happy, married life. The way you have to try and deal with yourself is, you cannot come near that word. My friend, there are so many people that call me, and they tell me, you know, Sheikh, what do I do? I've actually, I've divorced my wife, or said this, or said that, what do I do right now? Now, you know what? If you spill the milk, if the whole container is dropped down and that's the only milk you have, where is finished, my friend? I'm sorry, you've probably broken the container. You've done damage. You can't just ask someone just to pull the milk back in and mend the whole container. I'm sorry, it don't work like that. Divorce is a very serious matter. You better n- never ever say that word or say anything near to the to the likes of it. If you ever get into a situation where you, you've got tension going on between you and your wife, just go away. Just move away. Go and see an imam. Go and calm yourself down. Go and see an imam. Don't ever think that's your solution to the problem. It's not a solution to the problem. It's an absolute disaster. It can be an absolute disaster. If you divorce her once, you may be able to reconcile her. If you divorce her twice, fine. You may be able to reconcile her. Again, I'm saying may. There are certain conditions, subhanAllah. Sometimes it can be very difficult. If you give it a third time, finished. She's never yours again. Never yours again until she gets married to another man and he decides to divorce her in his own time. Then maybe you can take it back. It's not a small matter. It's a very serious matter. So what I'm trying to say to you is calm yourself down. Move away from the situation. Go and see an imam. And if you ever come to an imam and a good imam, his first job is what? His first job is to reconcile. He will do everything in the books to try and make you and her be together again and reconcile the matter however he can. That's what we imams are taught. We have to work on reconciliation. Try and get you to be in one you know, unity again. If it fails, we try another one. If it fails again, we try another one. If it fails, we try a different method. If it fails, we try a different method. We will try everything in the book over a period of, period of time. And if nothing actually works, then the imam will advise you how you, if you really have to divorce her, the imam will advise you that you just give one time, just say one time that I divorce you, and then you can separate. But even then, that will be the last, last resort, because it's the most hated of permitted things in the book of, in, in, in the law of Allah Azza wa Jal. Abghadul halal, the most hated of permitted things, as Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa said. So, the thing is, we are getting a number of cases as imams that we have to deal with where people say, oh, I didn't even know this, I didn't know it was that serious. My friend, it is a very serious thing. You've heard this video right now. You better warn others about it. Never bring it to your tongue. Never say it to anyone else you know, about, about this. Don't use it just loosely. Just keep it somewhere in the back of your mind. Whenever you talk about it, talk to an imam about it. 
and, and then proceed further. May Allah Azza wa Jal save you and save everyone, everyone else from this you know, disastrous situation of not having a wife anymore. May Allah Azza wa Jal give us you know, long-term stability in, in our marriages. Jazakumullah khair. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. The Safar curriculum covers all the Islamic educational needs of young Muslims today in a fun, simple and engaging way. Tried and tested for over 15 years at one of the UK's leading maktabs. The curriculum has been adopted by hundreds of institutions around the world and makes your child's journey in seeking knowledge easy, meaningful and dynamic. This innovative and comprehensive curriculum covers Quran and Tajweed, Islamic studies, du'as and surahs, as well as Arabic in an integrated and structured way. Visit safarpublications.org to find out more.